Hi, welcome to Sharing with Susan B, Telling Stories from the Heart. We're looking to inspire telling stories of struggle, vulnerability, and lessons learned. Hi, I'm Susan Blaine and welcome. I'm here with Scott Goodfellow. Uh, Scott is CEO of Black29 Group, black29group.com. And it's a company that owns brands that focus on strategic implementation and coaching in the real estate industry. And yeah. you've been at this for a long time. Yeah, 18 years. Your first job was in a uh, flower nursery at mm -hmm. age 14. And you did some construction, some maintenance work. Uh, your favorite job was installing real estate signs. That's right. Uh, restaurant and bars. You even bartended in Australia for four months. So you got out of Canada yeah. and went exploring. And then you spent some time in retail management. Uh, but you started working for your dad. Uh, when you were 23 and you didn't get paid for the first six months. That's right. I love that lesson. <laughs> uh, I love too that you did a uh, Ironman triathlon when you were 25. Mm -hmm. uh, it took you 13 and a half hours mm -hmm. that we were just talking about it. You said it was NBC that did a special? Yep, NBC, yeah. Uh, because you collapsed. Yeah. Uh, and you were passed right out. I mean, I watched the video. That's right, yeah. And then you got up. You were, what, 10 miles from the finish line? That's right, yeah. And you got up and you completed it. Yeah. And I was rooting for you in that yeah. video. It was fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's talk about, you opened Goodfellow Creative Marketing Agency um, six years after you started working for your dad. That's right. Uh, then you took it over. You took over the coaching and consulting side in 2014. Then you had a merger. You create, uh, merged creative with uh, Artifact Digital in 2016. So mm -hmm. you're really evolving with the business. You launched Black 29 Group in 2017. Mm -hmm. uh, you acquired Pro Rhea Staffing in 2018. It's like Pac-Man. That's right. <laughs> and then you acquired Atlas Coaching and Training in 2018. All of this, because you're super successful in this business, I know we're going to talk about struggle in a minute because it's not without struggle. For sure. You were a D and an F student Absolutely. in high school. Yeah. took you five and a half years to finish. Mm -hmm. uh, you dropped out of Algonquin after one semester. We have a yeah. similar story. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, but you became a successful entrepreneur. So... Just yeah. goes to show, right? Yeah. Uh, a lot of practical, hands-on learning yeah. um, your craft. Uh, so tell us what's going on with Black 29 Group now. It's an exciting time. Yeah, it is an exciting time. I mean, I think um, like most businesses, you know, you, you start out with a one idea. Yeah. And that's really what we did 18 years ago. And really was my dad's idea. And then kind of grew into, okay, what else can we sell this group of 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 uh, clients that we have um, and then we just looked at other services that we could provide for them to not only grow the business but include increase the profit per customer as well and you just opened a new office in Toronto you're heading there now yeah heading there now it's just a new new office in Liberty Village in Toronto for yeah for Black 29 group wow you're no stranger to struggle either are you yeah I think if you've been at it for 18 years and had you know different permutations. I, I think you, if you want to stay in a lane, you know, you probably would have less struggle. Um, mm. But I think, you know, I've always been an ambitious guy and always wanted to to continue to grow. I think it's important whatever Absolutely. you do in life, you, you need to continue to grow and push yourself or life will make you do it, right? And so, one of the biggest struggles that you had with a lot of business owners that have been around for 15 plus years yeah. is that 2008, 2009. That's right. I mean, since we're in the real estate industry and at that time, 90% of our clients were US based. Wow. Right. And when the bubble burst in the housing market in 08, 09, um, you know, our main client was realtors, we're realtors. And um, so they no longer had the budget. They had to scale back their budget, which meant not as much training, not as much marketing. They had to cut all those our, the services that we provided to them. So we actually lost 60% um, of our business in, wow. in three months. Wow. Um, I had to make a lot of adjustments just to, to And you, you cut 80% of your staff too, right? 80% of our wow. staff in one day. That's hard. Oh, wow. Yeah, one of my hardest days in business. Ever. I bet. Yeah. Uh, recovery after that. Took you a couple of years to, you didn't take a paycheck for a year and a half. Yeah, that's right. I think, and I think that's a, a key lesson for a lot of entrepreneurs is that a lot of, a lot of companies that don't make it are the ones that aren't willing to get uncomfortable yeah. in the times that they need to, Yeah. right? If we didn't cut 80% of our staff at that time, and I'll give full credit to my dad for that because it was really um, his call at the time, 
was, um, you know, we had to lean out in order yeah, to make sure time. that we maintain profitability. Yeah. Right. Or we wouldn't be here today. Yeah. Yeah. And you, and I love the point that you're making, which is you need to get uncomfortable. Yeah. You know, you have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Yeah. Uh, and that's a really good point. Yeah. Uh, right now you're in a bit uh, difficult juncture too. You're becoming a different type of leader. That's right. Yeah, I mean, that, that's one of the things when you, you asked me to do this, you were asking me to do some of the struggles, and I would say there's two. There's one in 08, 09, and the other one's right now. Because we're at a point where, because we have all these companies and all these brands, I've had to go from kind of that business development sales guy um, to more of a leader, that true CEO, right? When you're trying to go from a small business to a large business, you know, as the leader and the main entrepreneur of the company, you really have to adjust your skill set or put people around you that have those skills. Yeah, yeah, now you're going from working in the business to working on the business. That's right. right? And I think I did it at a certain level always, but this is a, a completely different level. Yeah. 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 I'm sure you're going to be just as successful for the next 18 <laughs> years. I know it. Yeah. Now, the other thing that we talked about, you and I, was uh, one of the personal struggles was working with friends and family. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. That's yep. Uh, not easy. Uh, yep. Working with your dad, you know, yeah. uh, you said it was good at the beginning as a mentor, and then yeah. you really struggled during that downturn too, because there was a shift, yeah. right? Yeah, I think like any any family business, you know, when the kids come into the business, and I was that person. I was 23 when I first went into the business. Is you know, you, you're, when you go in, you're a sponge, mm -hmm. right? You want to learn everything, and then once you really get, you think you that you get it, <laughs> you start to have your own ideas, right? Yeah. And you forget who the real boss is. <laughs> So I'll take, you know, now that I've been doing it long enough, you would ask me that five years ago, I would have denied it for sure. But now that I've been in it this long, <laughs> yeah. right, I think there's a lot of uh, power struggles uh, that happen there. But um, And you had to fire your mom. I had to fire oh, my mom. <laughs> I had to fire my mom. I had to fire my best man, was, yeah. which was like our third employee at our wedding. Wow. For my wedding. And, uh, you know, but those are all the lessons you learn along the way. Oh, sure. yeah. yeah. And, you know, it's the old... To, you know, it's not personal, it's just business. That's right. But it's some, that's not easy, right? That's right. Uh, so some of the lessons, we talked about being uh, comfortable with uncomfortable, and you do what you need to do, Yeah. right? Yeah. Those are the, what advice would you give to your younger self? Uh, definitely have more patience. Yeah. Right? Like, it's a, it's a long road, and um, if you want it to be, yeah. right? And if you approach it with that type of mentality, you know, like you go in every day treating it like it's a sprint or working as hard as you can, but knowing that, you know, it's, it's more of a marathon and yeah. what you really want is the part of the journey and not always a finish line. Yeah. So then um, I think it would be more enjoyable. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I like that. Um, so can we do some rapid fire questions? Sure. And yeah. Some fun facts sure. about Scott Goodfellow. Sure. Who's your favorite superhero, Scott? Batman. For Batman. Sure. Yeah. You have a Batman t-shirt? No, I don't. I'll have to get no, you one. But he's businessman by day and superhero by <laughs> night. Just like you. Yeah. Favorite food indulgence? Pizza for sure. Yeah. yeah. Someone you admire? My dad. Your favorite movie, book, yeah. or a quote? Quote for sure is never give up. Mm. It's the key to life, I think. Yeah. Well, yeah. if you watch the uh, triathlon video, the Iron Man video of him, you can see that in full play. Yeah. Never give up. Yeah. yeah. Favorite book? Are you a big reader? Yeah, uh, probably the one that had the most effect on me early in my in my business life was E Myth Revisited by Michael Gerber. Oh yeah. Yeah, how to basically go from small business owner to to CEO, and how to scale a business and how to work on your business instead of in your business. Yeah. That whole thing. I mean, it was um, it was a game changer for me. Are you pulling that book out again for reference? Yeah. No, <laughs> I haven't, but um, but maybe it. I should. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What about something that always makes you smile, Scott? Oh, my kids, my family, yeah. for sure. What's your definition of success in one sentence? I would say um, being able to do, be, have the freedom to do what you want when mm -hmm. you want to do it. Yeah, that is true success, isn't it? It really is, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for participating in this. If you want to learn more about Scott Goodfellow, you're on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram, so That's we right. can follow what you're doing in your next chapter and all the exciting things going on. Yep. Thank you so much for participating and sharing. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for doing this.